quizzing theorem for the calculus 1 met 183. So let's first see what uh, this quizzing theorem states. It states that if limit as is approaching 0 of sign x of x will be equal to 1. So basically, it is actually 0 over 0 case because in limit, we try to substitute with value of x. In this case, if you have like x approaching 0, then you'll have sine 0 over 0, and then we'll get 0 over 0 case. And you know that if 0 over 0 case will be divided into three types, the first one is factorization, the second one will be the conjugate, and the last one is the one is going to be highlighted today, which is this quizzing theorem. So let's see the first example. <coughs> If you have like sine 2x, limit as approaching 0 of sine 2x over 2x will be equal to 1. Limit as approaching 0 of sine 10x over 10x will be equal to 1. But what if limit as, as approaching 0 for sine 3x over x? So most of the students make mistakes when they try to take out this tree outside here. So it will be something like limit as x approaching 0, 3, sine x over x. This is completely wrong. Why I say it so? Because, you know, like you cannot take out 3 out of that sign, you know? If you have like this sign 3s, this 3s actually, this one, this 3s, cannot be, you know, like cannot be changed anything. You cannot disturb that one. But what you can do is to make them same as the upper part and the lower parts. So we try to make 3, 3 at the bottom here. But you cannot simply put 3 there. You cannot, where does this tree come from? So what you're trying to do is actually try to put tree at the bottom and also tree in front. Why I said so? Because if this tree doesn't exist, you can cancel actually this tree. So it'll be back to the original one. So you can simply put tree in front of x like this. And you have to put tree in front of sign like this. And this tree x shouldn't be disturbed at all. So when you have this, you know that when we have limit and this number is 3 in front here, it's not, it's not involved with the limit. So you can take it, take it out, something like 3, and then you'll have limit as x approaching 0 of sine 3x over 3x. So we know that from squeezing theorem, this part in the uh, red bracket will be equal to 1. So 3 multiplied by 1, so you will get 3. So that's the solution for this one. All right, so now let's see the second example. If you have limit as x approaching 0 of x cubed plus 4 sine 7x over x. So you have to have the strategy to solve this problem. You, you cannot simply substitute with add x with 0 because if you try to substitute add with 0, in this case, you get 0 over 0 case. Um, what you can do is actually, you can actually split split this uh, limit, something like limit as x approaching 0 of x cubed over x plus 4 sine 7x over x, right? So, you can actually uh, distribute this limit to this part, the first part, and also the second part, the term, the first term, the second term. So, you will get something like limit as x approaching 0, you can simplify x cubed over x square. So this one will be x square. So you'll have limit of x square plus another limit. I write in a purple. Limit as x approaching 0 of 4 sine 7x over x. And we know that you try to, uh, for the first part, you can uh, you can actually calculate the limit uh, one by one. Like the first part here, you as, as I said earlier just now, we try to substitute with the value of x. In this case, s is equal to zero. So you have limit as approaching zero of x square will be, you try, you simply substitute with zero. So zero square will become zero, of course. And then you have plus and I'll write in purple. So you can take out this four in front here because four is not involved with the limit. So four, uh, sorry. You have 4 limit as x approaching 0 of sine 7x over x. So this is this looks quite similar to the first example just now where you have the limit for 3x and over there be, uh, below that you have x. So in this case you have 7x at the top and the x only at the bottom. So what we're trying to do is that we try to make them same. I mean this one and this one to be the same but you cannot change the 7 there, 7x there. But what you can do is actually you put 7 at the bottom and you have to put 7 in front of sine m. So, you will have something like this one 0 square will come 0 plus 4 as we know just now that 7 here can be taken out here. So, 7 will be multiplied by F4 outside there and you'll have the limit, sorry, you'll have the limit as x approaching 0 of sine 7x over 7x. So, you will have something like uh, this one 0 plus 4 multiplied by 7 is 28 and this one in the bracket 
here will be using Squeezin theorem, you get 1. So you'll have 1. So 28 multiplied by 1, you get 28. That's the final answer for this one. So let's have a look at the next example. It will be quite interesting as it's involved tangent here. So what if you have like, sorry, uh, you have like limit as x approaching 0 of tangent 2x over 2x. If you actually try to substitute with value of 0 for x, so you have tangent 0, which is 0 at the upper part, and 2 times 0 is 0 at the bottom, the lower part, so you have 0 over 0 case. So we know that we have to use the squeezing theorem, but you know that squeezing theorem involves the sign, so you have to change that tangent to something like involving sine. So we know from our vocabulary that tangent x will be equal to sine x over cos x here. So if you have like tangent to x, so of course it will be sine to x over cos to x. So we try to change that, so it will become limit as x approaching zero of sine 2x over cos 2x. So you'll have 2x here. Yeah? You cannot cancel anything here. You please don't cancel this 2x and 2x. Please don't do that because uh, that's completely wrong in mathematics. So you try to do something here. So actually you get something like limit as x approaching 0. You can actually put this 2x uh, together with this cos. Why I said so? Because if you have like a sine 2x over cos 2x, this, this is actually divided by 2x. So you can write limit as x approaching 0 of sine 2x over cos 2x multiplied by 1. 1 over 2x. You know that when you involve a division with the fraction, you have to change to multiplication and you have to invert the fraction at the uh, at at back there. So actually you can put 2x with cos x. So, and please do not simply multiply these two x here because I found so many students writing like if you have that, then they will have 4x squared. This is completely wrong, completely wrong because I said that uh, the angle for cos there and for angle for sine, you cannot simply cancel. You cannot simply do anything. You cannot change that. So what you can do is you have to put these two x in front here. So you will have limit as x approaching 0 of sine 2x over 2x cos 2x. All right. We know that from the squeezing theorem that we have to put together sine x with x and there is no involved uh, cos x here. So what you can do is actually you can actually speed up this what we call it as cos. All right. So we'll have limit as x approaching zero. So you put sine 2x together with 2x and you'll have to put cos 2x here because cos 2x is not involved in the squeezing theorem here. So and us again, so what you can do is limit here. This can be limit for this one and the second one. Zero for this is sine two x over two x. You multiply with the limit as x approaching zero of one over cos two x. So the first part in the red bracket here, we can use this quizzing theorem, and of course you'll get one. And you have to multiply with. For the second part in the blue bracket here, what you can do is to put, to try, actually, you can try to substitute with value of zero. Because if you have like one over cos x is zero, so two times zero is zero. So one over cos zero, so you will have something like one multiplied by one, cos zero is actually one. So one multiplied by, actually you have one multiplied by one, sorry. One mul 1 multiplied by 1 and finally you get 1. So the answer is actually 1. Very simple. All right, let's have a look at the next example. Let's say you have the fourth example here. Okay, what if you have like limit as x approaching 0 of sine x over 2 square root x? As I said just now, we cannot simply change the x for sine there. So what you can do is to, to to change the lower part here. So how can we make from square root x to x? How to go from square root x to x? So actually we have to multiply with square root x because when you multiply x with square root x, you will get x. So what you can do here is to multiply with the square root x for the upper part and also the lower part. So you will have something like sine x over 2 square root x, alright, we try to multiply with square root x, but you cannot simply multiply at the lower part only, and actually you can multiply with the upper parts. So you will have something like, alright, 
limit xx is approaching zero of square root x sine x over 2 and you will have square root x multiplied by square root x and you will get x actually so trying to put together this sine x and x so that you can use this quizzing theorem so we get something like limit as x approaching 0 of square root x over 2 multiply with the limit as x approaching 0 of sine x over x all right the first part we can actually try to substitute with the value of x which is 0 so you will get square root 0 over 2 you multiply with the second part which is in the blue bracket here. Of course, using squeezing theorem, you get 1. So, square root 0 is 0 over 2 multiplied by 1. So, this is 0 multiplied by 1, which is 0. So, the answer is 0. Alright. So, the next one. Maybe we can look at this example. Number 5. If we have something like... Um, limit as x approaching 0 for sine x over 2 over x cos x this looks quite complicated but again we always try to put the you know like this sine x and x together and this cos x should be moved to the to the next part so that we can use quizzing theorem so we'll get something like limit as x approaching 0 of sine x over 2 over x multiply by 1 over cos x however the upper part you have the x over 2 but the lower part you have x so how to make them same you cannot change the upper part always because x over 2 is belongs to the sign so what you can do is to multiply by 1 over 2 at the lower part so again you have to multiply 1 over 2 at the upper part so and you can take out that 1 over 2 in front here. So we'll have 1 over 2. Mm. So you will have limit as x approaching 0 of sine x over 2 over x over 2. Now they look the same. Alright. And you can also take limit for as x approaching 0 for 1 over cos x. So using squeezing theorem again, this one will be equal to 0. Uh, sorry, 1. And the last part will be try to substitute with the value of x, which is 0. So you will have cos 0. Again, 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 is 1 over 2. Uh, cos 0 is 1. So this will get 1 over 2. All right. So, and the last part, maybe we can look at this rare example here. Where you have like limit as x approaching 1 as sine x over 1 minus 1 over x squared minus 1. So firstly, the strategy is to factorize the lower part, the denominator. So you will have something like sine x minus 1 over x minus 1, x plus 1. Alright. Again, bear in mind that we try to put this sine x minus 1 and x minus 1 together so that we can use this quizzing theorem. So we'll have something like limit as x approaching 1 of sine x minus 1 over x minus 1 over 1. And multiply by 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. So you'll have something like this. But does this involve squeezing theorem? The first part. So to check this, actually, if you have squeezing theorem, limit as x approaching 0. So it'll be something like this, right? So the graph looks like this. It's actually uh, this one for limit x x approaching 0 for sine x over x. So actually, they are approaching 1 here. But if you shift this graph to the right, meaning that you have the uh, limit, uh, right, let's not talk about limit, we have to shift the graph first, so to the right by one unit, so we'll have something like this. So the graph looks like this, maybe, right? So 1 is here. So of course, still the value is 1, but where does the limit take part? So the limit is approaching 1. So actually, they are quite similar to the squeezing theorem, so still you get the value 1. So the, the second part, we have to take limit as x approaching 1 for x plus 1. So you will have 1 plus 1, uh, sorry, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1. So we'll get 1 over 2. So that's the final answer for this one.